Welcome to Funky Dyer Radio with your host, Dyer. No, but really guys, I hope that wasn't too lame as an intro, but I'm glad to be back making videos and uh, with videos comes more videos or something like that. But today, I'm going to show off my Killstreak scatter gun because I uh, I bought one of those Killstreak fabricator things and I just added it to it. And uh, I got a decent Killstreak and I figured I'd upload it. So here you go. But there's a few things I want to talk about, really only one specific general topic, and that is changing around your settings and uh, how that can really help your aim. I know I dished out a shit ton of scout tips on this channel because that is my best class by far, followed by soldier, and then I'd say everything else is probably even, but uh, yeah, if you've been here long enough, you've probably got a handful of scout tips. I'm sure some of you are probably even better than me, who knows, but all that's really left to talk about for scout is settings, and for scout, aside from like movement and map awareness, you really have to have your aim on par to be different from the rest of the scouts. I'm sure movement is important, but your aim is what it's all about. So. Without further ado, let me uh, give you one tip that really helped me out, and you might already try this. I'm sure you have, but uh, you'd be surprised. So, when trying to figure out why my aim was so bad, I tried many things besides, you know, <laughs> practicing and getting better, but one of the things I did try was turning off my view models, and that really did help me out. You'd be surprised, because you can increase your field of view as much as you want, but sometimes it just doesn't help and I do have a tutorial on that I'll put it as a link in the video it's like part of my how to bind keys video but yeah and another thing is your HUD for me I always use these kind of bulky HUDs and right now I'm using what's called Ray's HUD and it's a real competitive TF2 HUD and even though I'm not really into competitive TF2 I just like to play it a lot uh, I really love it it gets rid of the clunky ridiculous goofy looking stuff that is the regular TF2 HUD or even some of the more popular HUDs and it cuts it down to the minimum. So definitely work around that, find your sensitivity you're really good at and if you're really looking to play Scout and you've always played at like say a 5 sensitivity, maybe you want to lower that to 4.5 as Scout. I know I play in like almost double the sensitivity. I play in other games. I cut that in half to what I play in TF2. So if I play like two in Battlefield, I play like one in TF2. For example, I explained that bad, but this death is ridiculous. And I'm sorry this is short. I'm trying to do two vids a week. But yeah, sorry guys. Hope you enjoyed though, and peace out.